Hey Loopers, this is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com and I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. And today I'm gonna to talk about how to add custom section markers in our app Prime. So today I'm using Prime on my MacBook, but Prime is a free app that you can have on your iPhone or your iPad, as well as a Mac. And so let's go ahead and look at Prime. Prime is a great app for running all of your tracks in a live performance. And what's really cool, one of the greatest features of Prime is that you can actually see an overview of the song, and these are called section markers. And what this allows you to do is you can click on a section and you can jump to that section. So it allows you to be spontaneous as you're leading worship. Now, one of the cool things with Prime is that you can upload your own audio into Prime using Prime Cloud. Now, when you get the audio into Prime, um, you'll notice that it doesn't have section markers automatically um, for stuff that you upload on your own. So we need to add that. And uh, so when you look at, this is a song that I uploaded. This is, this is Amazing Grace, um, Matt's version. And you'll notice it doesn't have section markers on it. Three, four. Now there's also not a click, but adding all these things is really easy in Prime. All we're going to do is we're going to um, click on This is Amazing Grace and then go to Edit Song and go to Edit Markers. And it, within the app, now it brings up this grid where I can double click anywhere in the grid to add a marker. So let me go ahead and go back to the very beginning of the song. I can click the plus sign to zoom in. And I'm going to double click on that marker to add a new section marker. And I'm going to call this one intro. So let's go ahead and um, hit play and see what that sounds like. Intro, two, three, four. Okay, so now I've added an intro marker. What we need to do is now add a verse marker. So let's kind of figure out where the verse is. I'm going to just hit play here. All right, so the verse is right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click again and just add verse one. And let's make sure that that's right. I'm going to just kind of scroll back and hit play. Okay, so I'm off by just one, um, one bar. So I'm going to just move, just click and drag the little white dot so that it lines up perfectly. Let's zoom in again and um, let's hit play. Cool. All right, so we added the verse. Now let's find the chorus, all right? Um, it might be over here. Yep, so there's the chorus. Let's add the chorus section marker. There it is. Cool, so I'm gonna just double click here and add chorus. And I would do this for the rest of the song, all the way to the end of the song. Um, what's really cool is that you can double click and add a section. Um, let's just say this is the bridge. You can drag these white dots around and flip them around if you need the chorus to flip to the other side or the bridge to be here. Um, you can also double click on a section and or right click on a section and hit delete if you would need to delete it, if you need to start over. Once you're done adding all of your section markers, I'm gonna hit save. And what it's gonna do is it's going to save those markers to Prime Cloud so that any device I'm using, those section markers are gonna show up. So now that I have section markers, you'll also notice that now we have a click too. Prime gives you a dynamic click that you can change the sound of that at any time by just going into settings and change the click sound all within Prime. And now I can also use section jumping with my custom track. And that's it. It's easy to add custom section markers all inside of Prime. Enjoy.